Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada on the southern tip of beautiful Vancouver Island. It's a city of about 800,000 people. Uh, hello Amrit. Hi Zarina. Hi Emre. Welcome to our members. Thank you for your support. Welcome to our regular students. Alvina, Akira, Chayan Kip. Good to see so many of you in the class today. In this IELTS uh, speaking part one class, the uh, focus will be on rules. That will be the general uh, topic of discussion uh, today. So start thinking about vocabulary and language associated with rules like laws, regulations, traffic rules. And this lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS success. Check us out there. For the general IELTS, check us out at gieltshelp.com. Both of these websites have a lot of material for you to improve your speaking as well as for the other parts of the IELTS exam. The websites look like this and we will actually use this website here today as well. This is our academic IELTS website. Um, this website, uh, just let me check what's going on with the webcam. I can see that it's frozen. Uh, let me see. Let me activate it again. I think something's been going on with the driver. There we go. Um, so that's fine. It is now unfrozen. If it gets frozen, let me know. I, th I think there's something going on with the driver, but I can unfreeze it pretty easily. So let me know. This is our academic IELTS website here, and we will use this today. Uh, for our uh, speaking. So um, to join our premium IELTS package, just click this big red button that's just above my head there, right there. Um, it's a one-time payment uh, for lifetime access. So uh, it's well worth it. It doesn't cost a lot. And you can use this discount code right here by clicking use coupon code um, and we've got this going on still it's happy nine so happy nine uh, because we want you to be happy <laughs> to pass your IELTS exam and we also released a new speaking video which is on the topic of making others happy as the topic of the speaking uh, that gives you a 20 percent discount on the website so go ahead and use that when you get a chance um, and uh, for the general IELTS, it's gieltshelp.com. We are an official IELTS test registration center and certified agents. So uh, you're in great hands uh, with us. Students, we've got lots of classes for you this week. Um, so right now we have this uh, speaking class and then uh, we will have reading uh, for members tomorrow followed by writing, then speaking part two on Saturday followed by speaking part three. So we've got class today, we've got two classes tomorrow and another two classes on Saturday. To follow all of our live classes, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button so that you get notified when we are having these live classes, okay? We also had a fantastic live class on Light Hall on Sunday, and we will have another Light Hall class this Sunday as well. So uh, take note of that. The Light Hall class is on a different platform called Light Hall, and it's a really great platform. So make sure to check that out. I'll copy this, and it's a free class also. There we go. Um, and um, check that out on uh, Light Hall. Okay. So uh, here we go. All right. 
Okay, I'll check the driver for our next class, but for today I'll just unfreeze uh, the camera if it gets frozen. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, all right. Okay, so Sevinch says it's very useful. Awesome, Sevinch. All right. Okay. Um, if anybody has questions, you can always send me an email. My email is adrian at aehelp.com. Okay, so you can uh, contact me there. Just send me an email. We usually will respond within uh, 24 to 48 hours. All right. Um, and... Uh, Let's get into speaking part one. If the camera freezes, just let me know. It's not the end of the world. Speaking is the most important part here, but I will do my best to keep the camera going. And then I'll check out what the driver is doing after. All right. So speaking part one, everybody, the IELTS speaking section, it has... Uh, three parts. Part one is the very first part and arguably this is where most of your mark gets decided and then part two and part three kind of decides whether you get a high mark or a very high mark on the speaking section. Okay. All right. So let's get into speaking part one. Um, and uh, let's just get right into it today. So I want to spend as much time speaking. I'm going to do this a little bit differently today. So I'm going to um, reach out to students as quickly as possible and then we will uh, actually practice um, the speaking and I will give you strategy and feedback as we practice, okay? So uh, a great way to build confidence is to practice your speaking, to become confident in what you're saying. And um, it's very important that you speak in full sentences from the very beginning. From the very beginning of the speaking section interview. Okay, yeah, unfortunately this camera, just give me one second, I'm gonna to try to do a different kind of fix with the camera, hopefully that'll, um, that'll work, so just give me two seconds. Let's try a different uh, USB port. Hopefully that will fix it. If not, then we have to do some more trouble shooting. All right. Okay, um, so speaking in full sentences right from the very beginning, okay, students? Um, and so I want you to speak and repeat. Speak and repeat while we do this, okay? All right, so you go to your IELTS a speaking exam, your interview, and you register uh, for the exam 20 minutes before you meet with the examiner, but you should have already been there for at least about an hour practicing your English, talking with other people at the speaking interview uh, in English, and hopefully you took some um, questions with you. Now IELTS is slowly but surely switching to an online format, it seems like, and we'll have more news on that for you coming up soon, okay? So uh, let's, um, let's get into these questions, okay? And then I will give you strategies, tips, and feedback as we go along. So the first question, 
When you get to your speaking section, interview is may I see your identification? You go to a room, um, a, you're one on one with the examiner, and they will say, Welcome to the speaking section of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for the speaking section. This is candidate number 98512387, examiner number 5291. We are conducting this exam in Vancouver. The time right now is 14 o'clock. Let's begin. And then they ask you this question, may I see your identification? Okay. And you need to um, give a nice full sentence for this. So Akira says, yes, sure. Here is my ID that I use for registration. Please have a look. Okay, Akira, that's okay. Yeah, that's a good way to start. It's natural. Um, another way that you can start is by saying gladly. It's a little bit more polite. Um, here is my passport that I used uh, to register online not so long ago. Uh, please take a look at my credentials. Okay, so that's another way that you could say that. Gladly, here's my passport that I used to register online not so long ago. Please take a look at my credentials. Okay, so uh, again, repeat these answers after me. You want to be polite and fluent right away. Okay, and then the next question is, uh, what is your full name? They will ask you this while they're still looking at your passport because they want to match your passport uh, with your um, uh, name and they're just uh, verifying that you are you, okay? This is a verification process. All right, so for full name, always answer this kind of secret or secondary question of what should I call you? Because they will ask you that question. So by answering this question, you're showing them that you have prepared uh, for the IELTS exam, okay? So tell them in the same answer what they should call you, okay? In the same answer so that they know you prepared for the exam, okay? All right, Rano, let's see what you got. Here we go. Rano says, oh, I only got your avatar there. Let's try to get it all. Okay, this is what Rano says. Rano says, my uh, given name is Rano and my family name is Tori Baeva. Please call me by my first name, Rano. Okay, Rano. Very nice answer. Yeah. You don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be a very complex uh, response. Um, it just has to be a clear and fluent response. So you don't have to overdo it for these first few questions. You just have to be clear, all right? So my given name is Rano, and my family name is Tori Baeva. Please call me by my first name, Rano. All right, very good, very nice. Okay, all right, um, so then they'll ask you a couple of uh, questions on a uh, general topic. Let's try this one together. Uh, what do you like to do with your friends? So the examiner will say for part one, I will ask you a couple of questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. Now, keep this in mind, students. Um, IELTS is not an ESL, English as a second language, exam. Uh, the examiner will speak to you as if they are speaking to a native speaker. 
with natural uh, speed pronunciation and attitude okay so just like I, the way I'm speaking to you right now um, and that's why in these classes if you feel like you know and I I mean, I, I really respect my colleagues and all the other channels that teach IELTS speaking, but some of them I find teach IELTS speaking, like they're teaching ESL, like, hello, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. And then you get to the IELTS exam, the real exam, and it's nothing like that. And people get shocked and they're like, well, what is this guy? Why is he talking so fast? Um, that's because it's not an ESL exam. So you have to practice natural speaking, okay? It's very, very important. That's why I'm kind of pushing you in this class to be natural, okay? I enunciate maybe a little bit more than some people, but that's just part of my natural diction. Okay, so let's answer this question. What do you like doing with your friends? Chang Nguyen uh, says this. Let's grab what Trang says and take a look at that. Okay, and then we will be doing actual live speaking, so I hope everybody is ready, and I hope you've all checked your microphones and cameras and everything, making sure that they work okay. All right, Trang says, I love spending time watching movies with my friends as we are film buffs. Last Sunday we were watching the gripping movie Morbius together at my house and it was fun. A uh, Trang, that is a beautiful band nine answer. Because it is natural, uses the question, uh, gives an explanation with the um, conjunction as um, and includes a clear example. Okay, so this would be a band nine answer as long as you say it nice and fluent with decent pronunciation. Pronunciation does not have to be uh, perfect. Uh, this will get you a band nine. Trang, okay? Uh, so what do you like to do with your friends? I love spending time watching movies with my friends as we are film buffs. Last Sunday, we were watching the gripping movie Morbius together at my house and it was fun. It's even visual, okay? This answer with the term gripping. Visual communication gets high band scores. Okay, um, does anybody know, um, so beyond the example here, Trang's example is visual, that they're together at uh, Trang's house uh, watching Morbius. Um, but the other word that makes it visual is this word gripping. Okay, um, does anybody know another way to say gripping in English in this nice natural expression? Mittal, by the way, congratulations for passing your IELTS exam. I did see a couple of people say that they passed their IELTS exam and that's really awesome, okay? Um, I saw another person at the very beginning of the class say that they passed IELTS and it's, we're super happy to hear that. We're always so excited to hear that from our students. So uh, visual communication, gripping. Grip means to hold, right? Like I'm, um, here we go, I'm gripping my coffee mug. Okay, so when the movie is gripping, imagine that this is the human and then, uh, or you are this lion. Let's see there, the lion. Okay, you are that lion and the movie is gripping you. Okay, be a lion, be confident in your IELTS exam. Um, so you're this confident lion and you are being gripped um, by the movie. Um, Arda says it means that the film holds you and keeps you in it. So yeah, so the, the movie is exciting and uh, holds you in it. Or another way we can say it is glues you to your seat. Um, a very nice high level vocabulary here for the word gripping is enticing. Okay, it's another way to say it, enticing. 
all right? When I teach you new vocabulary, students, make sure to use it. So right away, apply it in your speaking, in your writing, uh, write it down, okay? Enticing. All right. Okay. Manas is asking, sir, I want to meet you. Is that possible? Kind of. You can book an IELTS speaking interview on our website. Just don't spam Manas. Okay. All right. Um, good. And uh, the IELTS uh, speaking is like a conversation. So think about it as a conversation. Don't think about IELTS as separate, individual, mutually exclusive questions, okay? So think about the IELTS interview as a conversation. Uh, avoid thinking about the questions as mutually exclusive, okay? Completely separate. All right? Um, think about them as connected and it's kind of I know it's difficult because they sound like they're separate questions at times but if you think about it um, for each part the um, the examiner gives you the topic even the beginning they say for the for part one I would like to get to know you a little bit better so obviously the first few questions are related on the concept of getting to know you and then part one will be something about like, let's talk about rules. And so obviously all these questions are related and they're connected under this concept of rules. So thinking about IELTS as a connected conversation will lead to much better band scores. Again, everybody got that, okay? Um, when students practice for the IELTS, they sometimes really just look at question, 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 and they don't look at the questions um, as a connected kind of uh, concept. So uh, I highly, highly recommend changing that if you're thinking about it as each question as a separate question and thinking about them as a connected question. Let me show you what I mean. So here's this first question. Uh, what do you like to do with your friends? Uh, Trang says, I love spending time watching movies with my friends as we are film buffs. Uh, last Sunday, we were watching the gripping movie Morbius together at my house and it was fun. And then the examiner might ask a question like, how about when you're alone? Now this is natural English, a native English speaker. If they ask this, how about when you're alone? I would probably answer it like this. Well, when I'm not watching a flick uh, with uh, my friends when I'm uh, spending some me time. Uh, I like to read a book or uh, surf the internet for interesting information. Just last week, I did a bit of uh, research on uh, the new James Webb telescope. Okay, so I'm connecting uh, my answers here. Okay, uh, notice this part here. Well, when I'm not watching a flick with my friends, and that's giving me lexical resource and grammar as well. So, well, when I'm not watching a flick with my friends, when I'm spending some me time, I like to read uh, a book, surf the internet uh, for interesting information. Just last week, I did a bit of research on the new James Webb telescope, okay? This is what Arda says. Let's check out what Arda says because Arda's on the right track here, okay? All right, and Arda says, well, when I'm not playing online games with my friends, I like working out um, in me time. <laughs> I like working out 
Uh, I would say that a little bit differently, Arda. I, I like working out by myself at the gym. I have been um, doing regular exercise, paraphrase Arda. For a, or instead, if you want to keep it closer to working out, I have been lifting weights. Or maybe even better is weight training. Uh, for a year now, and I just got that I can have fun alone as well. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. I just got that means that you realized it. Uh, fun as well um, with this activity. I would finish the sentence. Okay. So Arda, here is your corrected sentence. All right. Um, this is your original sentence. I'll copy that in so everybody can kind of see the difference between Arda's original sentence and my corrections here, okay? And I'll explain the band score difference. So uh, this is Arda's original sentence here. Um, let me highlight that with a different color. So this is the original sentence, Arda. Well, when I'm not playing online games with my friends, I like working out in me time. I have been working out for a year now and I just got that I can have fun alone as well. This is about a band seven to maybe a band eight if you say it perfectly. It's quite good English. It's quite accurate. It's just not perfectly clear and natural. Okay, so for band nine, you want to be perfectly clear and natural. So this is about a band eight to a band nine. Okay, so sorry, band seven to band eight. Seven to band eight. Okay, uh, lots of grammar. Um, and clarity, but it could be more natural and with even better vocabulary and coherence, okay? So here's the uh, band nine switch. Um, well, when I'm not playing online games with my friends, I like working out by myself at the gym. I have been weight training for a year now and I just got that I can have fun alone as well with this activity. That makes more sense, it's a bit more sensible, it's a bit clearer for the listener, okay? And there's more paraphrasing going on as well. All right. But regardless, if you're up in that seven, uh, eight, then um, that's great. Okay, everybody, let's do some live speaking. Okay, so uh, let's let's actually talk to each other. Let's do this. Uh, let me show you how. Okay, so first of all, uh, again, remember, uh, of course, I always want to encourage students to use our full website. So you can use this code, HAPPY9 on the website for our 20% discount. And to uh, speak today, you don't have to buy the website, but it's a good idea. Um, first of all, go to uh, aehelp.com, okay? Go to this website here. And then uh, log into your My Student account. If you don't have a student account, create one. I will show you how to do that. Okay, this is our general IELTS website here. You can use this also. Um, right now, I'm going to show you on our academic website. So with these buttons, with this red button, you can join our premium course. With the green button, you can sign up for free. Okay, no strings attached. Um, and then you log into your My Student account. In your My Student account, you have computer-based practice exams, a full online course. Uh, you'll have uh, exam books, study plans, um, lesson videos in HD for your mobile phone with the app as well. Uh, you have all the audio CDs. And then you also have this beautiful piece of uh, software or function, which is the uh, student partner speaking. Okay, 
Um, if you like the student partner speaking, you can book a full speaking interview for practice with me, with feedback and scores, with this uh, yellow button that's just underneath it there, <laughs> behind my chair. Um, so click on the blue button right now, this student partner speaking, okay? So the blue button. We are having live speaking today, Sana. Uh, click on the I accept and start speaking. Okay. All right, and then you will be in this interface here, and I can see that we have lots of students here now. We have uh, Farnoosh, we have Yash, we have Ashok, we have Jay. Um, and then when you're in here, send me a message. You can send me a message uh, by clicking on this blue envelope. So Farnoosh, when you see that blue envelope there, um, you can click on that blue envelope. My name, you will see it as Master. Okay, so click on Master and uh, then type, I want to volunteer. And we have some volunteers already and I can see that because um, if you look right here, you can see these little orange numbers. That means Amrit and Asha and Shambhavi and Rashika and Kulwinder have sent me messages wanting to uh, volunteer. Okay, uh, Rashika, I'm interested to uh, hear your voice. I wonder if you're our member, Rashika. So let me reach out to you. Let me see what's going on. But first I will put my ears on. Okay, Rashika says, I want to volunteer, so let's see if Rashika is there. I'll send you back a message. Are you ready? So, Rashika, are you ready to volunteer? All right, now, also, students, test it with other people in the system. So, reach out to them, talk to them, just to make sure that it works for you. Hello, Rashika. I cannot hear your voice. Can you hear my voice? Okay, so, oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention a very important step. If you haven't done this, make sure you enable your microphone and your speaker on the uh, website, okay? All right, uh, let's see if Asha is here. Are you ready? I think we lost Rashika too because maybe Rashika didn't have a strong connection. So also check your connection, students. Okay. Oh, don't call me back, students. I will call you. Rashika, I saw that you're trying to call me back, but don't call me back. I'll reach out to you after, okay? All right. So Asha, if you're there, let me know. I'll give everybody a couple of seconds uh, chance. Amrit says, I'm in at the bottom as well, the lower side. All right, do we have multiple Amrits here today? Maybe, I don't know. Okay. I'll jump around a bit. We've got lots of time, by the way, uh, students. Um, let's see. Yeah, Rashika said, sorry, there's a problem maybe on your end. Yeah, you have to have a good connection here, students. Use Wi-Fi if possible, okay. Uh, Shambhavi, uh, yes, you can volunteer. Are you ready? Okay, and just be patient, students. We'll uh, we'll get this going. It works just beautifully. Ooh. Hi, Shambhavi. Hi, Adrian. How are you? I am doing great. How are you doing? I'm great too. Awesome. Uh, Shamhavi, if I remember correctly, you were in our Light Hall speaking class on Sunday, were you not? Uh, yes, I was there. Okay, good. How did you like it? I loved it. Awesome. That's great. It's good feedback. Um, then we know that we're doing something that people like. So that's great, yeah, it Shamhavi. It was very informative for me as well. 
Okay, that's great. Um, all right, Shamhavi. Well, let's do some speaking right now. Uh, the uh, Light Hall class that I just asked Shamhavi about, we'll have another one this Sunday uh, also. And I'm going to copy this link into the chat. Are you going to try to attend this Sunday as well, Shamhavi, for the Light Hall class? Oh, yes, I would. Okay, awesome. Good for you. Good, good. Lots of studying, lots of practice. I mean, I can give you a lot of strategies for IELTS speaking, but at the end of the day, you have to practice it, right? <laughs> so that's the big trick. Okay, uh, let's get into it. Um, so I'm going to go right from the top, just so everybody can get a feeling for how uh, speaking um, starts in the IELTS, okay? Trump hobby? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. All right, here we go. So welcome to the speaking section of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. May I see your identification? Yes, of course. Here is my passport that I used while registering for the exam. Please have a look. What is your full name? My first name is Shambhavi and my family name is Goyal. You may please call me Shambhavi. Shambhavi. Okay, Shambhavi. For part one, I will ask you a couple of questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. What do you like to do with your friends? When I do have spare time, I like to spend quality time with my friends by going to a shopping mall, watching movies at my home or having a supper at my place. Yesterday, I had a great time with one of my friends at my place. How about when you're alone? Um, well, usually when I'm alone, I like to read novels, dance to hip hop music and paint sceneries. Yesterday, I just finished reading A Man in the Brown Coat by Agatha Christie. Let's talk about rules. What are some rules that you have to follow? In my opinion, there are certain rules which one should really follow. For instance, uh, following the traffic lights is one certain rule which everyone must abide by. Uh, apart from that, there are certain uh, environmental rules which uh, people should follow. For example, throwing the litter in the dustbin and making the country clean is a very important rules which everyone should take care of. Why do you think these rules are important? Obviously, rules are a very important and crucial part of our well-being. They really emphasize on the fact that how we behave uh, in the surroundings and it makes the, uh, it actually helps in well-maintaining the society. It's really important for well-functioning of the overall uh, society as well. All right, I'm going to stop there for now. Um... That's really good. So far, you're doing a fantastic job. Okay, so uh, let me give you a little bit of feedback. All right. Um, for the beginning, that would be a band nine. So your introduction was a band nine introduction. And some people think that the examiner is not marking you on that introduction, but absolutely they are. I mean, of course, we judge uh, naturally, we judge a person's uh, communication ability when they introduce themselves, right? How professional they are, how confident they are, um, the kinds of words that they choose. So uh, even though they might not technically be marking you, they are estimating your English uh, right away from the beginning. And definitely the start there was perfect. Uh, one step that you're doing really well, um, Sh Sh can you pronounce your name one more time for me, please? Shambhavi. 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 It's a beautiful name, by the way. It's just tricky for me to pronounce. So Shambhavi. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, one, um, one very good uh, strategy that you're using, Shambhavi, is that you're speaking very confidently. Um, and especially since we can't really see each other and it's online it's through the computer and these kinds of speaking exams are becoming more and more common for IELTS it's really important to be confident like you so you're really uh, like enunciating your words and it's very clear for me I can feel the confidence in your voice and that's super important okay so this is what everybody wants to do is just like Shambhavi really nice clear loud English okay loud clear confident English Okay, right from the beginning. Um, all right, uh, now when I got into these part one questions of let's talk about rules, 
Your band score was still very good, and very good literally means band eight in the aisle. So it goes band seven, good, band eight, very good, band nine, expert, okay? There's one adjustment that you could make to your part one, let's talk about rules answers to make your band eight a band nine. I wonder if anybody knows the mistake that I'm going to point out. Um, some of our students watch these classes regularly and there's a few mistakes that are very common um, among um, candidates. And uh, this one I've mentioned a few times in the past. So I said, let's talk about rules. And then I asked, what are some rules that you have to follow? And then you said, in my opinion, there are certain rules one should follow. There are traffic rules that people must follow, which everyone should take care of. And then you gave some examples and environmental rules. But there was one kind of slight flaw in the way that you answered this question. Somebody's saying answer, explanation, example. Yeah, I think the example could have been a little bit clearer, like um, crossing on a green light and not crossing on a red light, for example. That's okay, but there's something else that you have to pay attention to. Shambhavi, do you know what it is? Maybe the fluency? No, you were very fluent. Mm hmm. Erkin said, not in general. Yeah. Um, so part one, Shambhavi and everybody else, be very careful. In most cases, if not all cases, uh, part one is about you. Okay. So part one, um, the examiner is focusing on you. On you, uh, your life. Okay, so the best way to approach these questions um, is to really use the I, me, my, okay? So for this first question, what are some rules that you have to follow? Um, so the, a better answer, Shambhavi, would be something like, I must follow uh, several uh, regulations and laws in society. And you can say like you can say it like this, like everyone else, I have to abide by traffic laws, uh, which means that I cannot uh, go across a, a red light with my car. Uh, also, I have to uh, follow uh, rules in my school, uh, like being on time to classes. Yeah, so uh, I have to just strict, uh, strictly stick to me and myself. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know if I'd say strictly because, you know, notice how I said like, like everyone else, but it, it should be you. Yes, you have to stick to yourself. You have to stick to yourself. So even if you go a little bit off and you say something that's a little bit more general, you have to continue to return to your own perspective. It's basically focusing on that first person subjective voice, okay? So first person subjective voice. Yeah, okay, getting it. Okay, got it? Yes, I got it. All right, um, so let's... Um, Let's try that with this next question. I asked you the next question and you also answered quite general for the next question. So try to make that one personal also. Let me ask you that one one more time. So why do you think rules are important? In my opinion, I think rules are very important, particularly in my case, if I follow rules regularly of my classroom, I'll be uh, able to more, I'll be able to focus more well on my studies and that will of course improve my overall uh, academic uh, curriculum apart from that if i follow rules on uh, the on the traffic uh, road and that will also help me in maintaining my health and will also help me keeping safe very good and that's exactly what you want to do now that you're doing that you're making a few more grammar mistakes I noticed so make sure that you record yourself and check for those grammar mistakes so I still clearly understand you but with those grammar mistakes you're at about a 7.5 but your content is accurate okay so I keep myself safe okay by following traffic yeah. rules I keep myself and others safe okay so by following traffic rules 
Um, I keep myself and others safe. Can you just repeat that one piece for me? By following traffic rules, I keep myself and others safe. By following traffic rules, I keep myself and others safe. Very nice. Okay, so that's what you want to do for part one. Very good. All right. Um, thank you so much for volunteering. Keep up the good studies, okay? Yeah, thank you. Uh, one question, Adrian. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Uh, like, I have registered for the exam and I will be speaking in a mask. So, like, will that be a problem or can I remove it in front of the examiner? No. Um, so if there's a mask mandate, which I believe they still have in many, many places when they're doing face-to-face -face interview, you have to keep the mask on. I mean, you can ask, uh, is it allowed to remove the mask during the interview? But I'm pretty sure that you're not. Um, it does cause some extra challenges um, with the breathing but um, the trick is wear the mask early so put the mask on like an hour before your speaking interview so that you get used to wearing it you get used to the breathing and your face having it on and you kind of if you have it on for an hour you almost kind of forget that it's on your face right so um, don't don't put it on right before you walk in because then you're like oh it's there it's in front of me so put it on early okay yeah um, and um, keep doing what you're doing. So really enunciate, push your words out, really verbalize yourself because the examiner can't see your mouth. So they don't have that part of communication of seeing your mouth moving. Um, so you really want to be nice and clear like what you're doing right now, okay? Yes, getting it, okay. Okay, all right, good. Um, and good luck on your exam when you get there. When is it, when's your exam? My exam is on 28th. Okay, coming up in uh, five days. All right, yes. lots of time still, so practice lots, okay? You've got a few more classes before then. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, bye, have a nice day. Thank you, you too. All right, Shambhavi, um, that was very good. Thumbs up for her, and uh, people are uh, clapping and giving thumbs up. Abdullah, good luck on your exam tomorrow, I see that as well. Okay, let's take another um, uh, volunteer, let's see see here uh, I believe we've talked to Serena in the past let's see if Serena is available are you ready okay here we go everyone we've got quite a bit of time so I will be able to take a few different volunteers and give you some score estimates and feedback on how you're doing all right Serena if you are there let me know here's your chance to shine um, by uh, volunteering for some questions okay and again students everybody's in the same boat so don't be shy uh, most likely if you're here it's because you need to um, take the IELTS exam and um, there are some parts of the speaking section you want to figure out like what is my band score how can i improve what is the examiner looking for what gets me a band eight what gets me a band nine okay and i'm here to uh help you with that so uh don't be shy all right serena i'm not getting a message back from you so i'm not sure if you're still there by the way students please do not use this service if you are driving or participating in any other dangerous activity uh, that requires your full attention okay all right um is that abdul who has the exam tomorrow let's see uh abdul um are you ready hey yoko thank you for uh donating uh i believe it's four dollars and 90 cents hong kong dollars that's great thank you for that super chat donation all right um so abdul if you're there let me know especially if you're the abdul who has the uh exam coming up uh, i think it's tomorrow you said so it'd be nice to get you some help all right let's call abdul Hi, Abdul, I hear that you picked up. Can you hear me? Did you enable your microphone? Do you have a good connection? Did you sync your microphone with your device? I cannot hear you, Abdul, which means that there might be 
a ghost in the shell. Um, so check it out and uh, maybe um, check with another student. I always recommend checking with other students to make sure that your microphone set up and all your connectivity is okay. All right, Abdul, check and then come back at me, okay? All right. Um, let's see, uh, somebody else here. Okay, let's try Amrit. Okay, Amrit says, please try me in the last turn. I don't know when the last turn is coming, Amrit, so take your chance now or hold your peace. Okay, Amrit, are you ready? Let me know if you're there and we'll ask you a couple of questions. I think Amrit also has an exam coming up pretty soon, right? So if you're there, Amrit, let me know. Uh, we've got about, a, I think it's a, a, like a five or a six second delay from real time. So uh, that's why I'm giving students a few seconds to respond to my uh, chat. Faruza says, I also have an exam on Saturday. Okay, Amrit says, not now. All right. Uh, Farnoosh, are you ready? Okay, Farnoosh, if you are there, Farnoosh says yes. Hopefully we can connect. Hi, Farnoosh. Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you, Farnoosh. How are you doing? Hello, hi. You sound a little distant, Farnoosh, but I can hear you. I think everybody else can hear you as well. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm good. Now you're louder. That's good. Uh, Farnoosh, uh, maybe mute YouTube. Like I can still hear my voice on YouTube in the background. So just yeah. mute. Yeah, mute YouTube. So click the mute button and then you'll save bandwidth and you won't get that feedback. I mute it. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Uh, Farnoosh, um, when are you doing your IELTS exam? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my IELTS exam is in uh, next week. And why are you taking the IELTS? Farnoosh, can you try to hear me through the website? Um, because I want to study uh, for my PhD. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Farnoosh, it sounds like you're listening to me asking you the questions through YouTube no, instead of through no, the... No, no. Unfortunately, no. I can't hear your voice from the... Website? Mm, that's pretty strange. Um, I think you need to enable the microphone on the website, Farnoosh, otherwise it's going to be really difficult, okay? Yeah. You know what, Farnoosh, don't worry about it. I will ask you a yeah, question I don't this know way. how to um, Switch. speak from the uh, website. Okay. Don't worry about it, I will ask you a question this way, okay? And analyze your answer. Here we go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, let's talk about rules. Okay. Do you have any personal rules in your home? Mm-hmm. Um, yes, of course. Uh, for example, um, I uh, don't want to, uh, to let people uh, come to my room because I think it's a personal place. Uh, it's one of the rules uh, in our house. Um, and uh, another one is uh, nobody is allowed to uh, use my bedroom. Uh, as it's um, as I'm a clean person and um, everything is very neat so 
I prefer not to let them use uh, my personal things in my bedroom, especially my uh, bed. Are there any new rules or laws in your country? Um, uh, as I'm uh, living in Iran, there are lots of rules, uh, and uh, one of them is not uh, wearing. Uh, it, one of them is uh, wearing uh, black scarf and uh, scarves, and it's very hard, especially in summer, uh, that uh, we um, experience uh, hot weather. It's hot to wear that, but we have no choice. Okay, let me give you a little bit of feedback on this. So that those answers would get you about a band 6.5 to 7, okay? Um, I think your English is actually quite good. It's probably a 7.75 7, easily, okay? Uh, but you need to um, improve your answers a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. So I asked you this question, do you have any personal rules in your home? And you said, yes, of course. For example, I don't want to let people come to my room. Um, you started with an example, which is okay. You can do that. Uh, it's sometimes a little bit trickier. And then you said it's my personal space. So you gave an explanation, which is good. Um, and then you said, um, and another one is nobody is allowed to use my bedroom. That was a bit confusing for me because your uh, first answer, uh, nobody's allowed to come to my room and nobody's allowed to come to my bedroom, it sounds like it's the same rule. Okay. So you don't want to repeat yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't yeah. repeat yourself. If you're going to say another rule, make sure it's a clearly different yeah, rule, yeah. okay? So, uh, for example, what is a simple rule that many people uh, f uh, have in their home? It's something like, um, I expect a person to take their shoes off uh, when they come into my house. Because I want to keep my home clean. Okay, so that would be a clearly different rule in your house. All right, or another one. And uh, if somebody has a, a, a rule for their home, um, let me know because there are some common ones. So in the IELTS, don't yeah. overthink it, right? So um, also, anyone who is in my house must uh, be respectful. I mean, uh, speak with nice, polite language. Okay, so there are lots of rules. Uh, just uh, keep your thoughts simple, all right? Now, uh, let's take a look at one, uh, the second one here. Um, I asked you, are there any new rules or laws in your country? And you said, um, as, I live in, okay. as, as I'm living in Iran, that was really smart. I love how you told us where you live so that we know what country we're talking about, right? If you just say, in my country, nobody knows, right? You have an Arabic name, and that could be from many other countries. So it was really good that you told us it's in Iran, right? And you said, um, as I'm living in Iran, there are lots of uh, rules. One of them is wearing uh, black scarves, um, and it's very hard, especially in the summer. There's a really important missing piece here, okay? There's two important missing pieces here. Uh, one is that it's a new rule, okay? So if it's a new rule, you have to tell me that. So you have to say, um, as I'm living yeah. in Iran, there are lots of rules. One of them is wearing black scarves, and it's very hard, especially in the summer. Uh, this rule was created in 2005, okay? So now we know that, okay, it's kind of a new rule. 2005 for laws, rules, 10, 20 years is not a long time. So sure, that's kind of a new rule. The other important missing piece is the reason, 
Okay, so the examiner really needs explanations. Yeah. So my question is, why? Why do you have to wear a black scarf? Okay, so the examiner really needs explanations. So my question is, why? Why do you have to wear a black scarf? Um, should I answer that now? Yes, answer that question. Uh, okay, I don't know the exact uh, reason about, for that. Uh, they said uh, it's uh, written in a, a book from our prophet, so I don't know um, um, why exactly we have to uh, wear that thing. Um, but I know that soon I will uh, migrate uh, to Canada, so I'm very happy I will get rid of that thing soon so it's a good news for me okay so in this case you can make it up it doesn't have to so you don't have to give the truth uh, in IELTS you can just kind of make it up so this rule was created in 2005 um, to um, uh, keep um, uh, the face of women uh, hidden from um, the general public Okay, so you can make it up like that. All right, okay. Um, all right, um, also uh, one place where there are lots of new rules, anytime mm -hmm. that you're yeah. being asked about um, new and future students, think about technology, okay? So also uh, there are many new laws around technology such as uh, mm -hmm. cybercrime. Uh, people uh, get punished for uh, stealing others' information online. Okay, so whenever you're asked a question about what's happening now or what's happening in the future, one really quick thought that you can have, mm -hmm. which will help you, is technology, yeah. okay? All right, um, so try to repeat this, and this repetition isn't just for you, it's for everybody. So try to repeat this, here mm -hmm. we go. Yeah. Um, okay, so are there any new rules or laws in your country? Um, as I'm living in Iran, there are lots of rules. One of them is wearing black scarves. It's very hard, especially in the summer. This rule was created in 2005 to keep the face of women hidden from the general public. Um, also, there are many new laws around technology like cybercrime. People get punished for stealing others' information online. Uh, also, there are many new laws around cybercrime. Go ahead and repeat this. Okay. Um, uh, as I'm living in Iran, uh, there are lots of rules. Uh, one of them is uh, wearing black scarves and it's very hard, especially in summer. Uh, this rule was created in 2005 to keep the face of women uh, hidden from the general public. Also, uh, there are many new uh, laws around technology, such as uh, cybercrime. Uh, people get punished for uh, stealing uh, others' information online. Okay, good. All right. So um, a very important point here is make sure to accurately answer the question. So if it's a new rule, make sure that your answer includes the concept of a new rule. And always think about the explanation of why that new rule exists. Okay. Mm -hmm. So keep focusing on that and you'll get a really nice high band score like a seven, five, or maybe even an eight. And then for sure you will be able to get into your PhD. Okay. okay. All right. Farnoosh, keep up the good studies and hopefully we'll see you in Canada soon. Yeah. Thank you so much, Adrian. You are very welcome. Bye, Farnoosh. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. That was Farnoosh. Um, and good for her for studying. Yeah. Um, in Iran, it's quite tricky. There are so many restrictions on the internet as well. So um, it's tricky to, to get a good connection. But 
obviously Farnusha studying hard um, and practicing. All right, here's a voice that we haven't heard in a while. It's me. Let's see if me is available for us. We're going to move to a different part of the world. Me is in Vietnam. Are you ready, me? Okay. Me is very, very studious also. She studies hard and uh, participates in classes, I know, whenever she can. So let's see if me is available. Okay. Hello, sir. Hi, me. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. Me, have you done the IELTS exam? Uh, not yet. All right, okay. You've been studying for a while now. How, how long ago did you start studying for the IELTS? Uh, I think about four, four months. Four months, maybe. Okay, how do you feel? Do you feel like you've improved? Yeah, I've improved a lot. <laughs> okay, good. Thanks, thanks to your tips. And tricks <laughs> and, and your hard work, I think me. I think you're working very hard, which is which is key. So, um, okay, yeah, it's ha half half of it is knowing the right strategy and technique, but definitely the bigger half is uh, the effort and regular practice. So um, I respect that uh, you are very studious, and that's definitely the uh, key to success. Yeah. Uh, there's a saying in English that goes like this. It goes, it's 10% uh, inspiration and 90%, do you know how it finishes? Uh, hard work, effort. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um, perspiration. Do you know what perspiration means? Uh, no. Perspiration is the very technical way of saying sweating. Like when you sweat, when you're doing hard work and you start sweating. Uh, okay. Okay. So the saying is it's 10% inspiration and 90% perspiration. The reason for the saying, of course, is because those two words kind of rhyme inspiration, perspiration, right? So okay. inspiration is another way to say motivation. 90% hard work. Yes. And you're there. You've got this formula down. So let's practice some speaking part one questions. Are you ready? I'm nervous. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> why do um, I don't know why I'm I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> you're, you're gonna be fine. Here we go. Uh, why do you think rules are important? Um, rules are vital because um, they prevent people from doing bad things. Like, sorry, do, uh, doing bad things like um, like crossing like um, crossing the traffic light. Uh, and they may cause a lot of accidents. But yesterday I saw an accident because the a uh, driver uh, crossed the uh, the red light and they hit and she hit a man walking on the um, street. Uh, do you have any personal rules in your home? Yeah, um, uh, me, uh, my family. Uh, sorry, my brother and I had a rules in my home that, uh, and that he and that um, he and I had to speak English from. 9 a.m. to 10, uh, sorry, 9, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. And if uh, we spoke Vietnamese, we had to pay so pay $5 and we use that money to go out and eat. Are there any new rules or laws in your country? Um, sorry, can you repeat that sentence again? Sure. Are there any new rules or laws in your country? Um, due to the COVID-19, um, any foreigners who had uh, who had come to Vietnam had to um, had to have uh, at least two doses of vaccinations, and they had to wear a mask all the time uh, in the in the airport. And that is the new rules uh, from uh, two thousand and twenty. Uh, do you think the way people pay attention to rules has changed in the past twenty years? Uh, yes, I think so, because um, as technology is developed, um, the ways people pay attention to rules has changed a lot. Like um, in the past, um, people only uh, get to know, got to know the new rules through the newspaper and the young, uh, most, and most of the young hated reading newspapers, and that's why many of them don't, didn't know the new rules. However, these days people can read the new laws from 
um, online newspaper and it's more it, it was more interesting and we also can watch the news on Facebook as well if you could make a new rule what would it be um, I think uh, cy cyber billing is really uh, important these days and if I could make a new rules I would find them uh, I would um, impose a new rules that uh, they had to uh, be, be fined about like about fifty fifty dollars per com per comments per bad comments and encourage people to comment uh, well to uh, give those comments on the the internet. Okay, that is the end of speaking part one. We will now continue with speaking part two. Um, for this part, I will show you some questions. You have some note paper and a pencil. You can, okay, so that, and then we go into speaking part two. All right, not bad me. Yeah, I could tell you're a little bit nervous at the beginning, but then you got the hang of it and you started to feel more comfortable and, and talk, talk, talk. Um, good, lots of practice me, lots of practice. Uh, you're doing okay. I would say that would be a band score six, five to seven. Okay, um, I'd say half examiners might give you a six, five if they're very strict on grammar because you had some grammar mistakes, but half that really like good content would probably give you a band seven. So six, five to seven split. Um, you can improve, so focus on your grammar a little bit. And the other way that you could improve this band score for these questions is to um, connect. Remember earlier in the class, I don't know if you saw the start of the class, but I said it's a good idea to connect your answers to what you're saying. So um, I asked you this question, are there any new rules or laws in your country? And you came up with a very quick and clever response for this one. Um, first of all, you asked me if I can repeat the question, and that's okay. You can do that in the IELTS speaking. You can say, can you repeat that? I could tell that you just weren't paying enough attention or you were too nervous. And then when I repeated the question, then clearly you understood the question. It was totally fine. So you said due to COVID-19, any foreigners that come to Vietnam um, had to have, um, I would have used the word have to have, because they probably still do, um, have to have at least two doses of vaccinations um, that uh, ensure the safety uh, of local residents. Okay. Now, um, that's fine. And then um, I said, do you think the way people pay attention to rules has changed in the past 20 years? And then you said, um, yes, I think so. As technology has developed, uh, the way people pay attention to rules um, has changed a lot. Good use of the present perfect, good use of the question. One further step me that you could have taken here to make your answer even better is using your previous answer, right? So because of the recent pandemic, people have been paying attention to certain rules much more than in the past, especially rules around health and staying healthy, right? Okay. Okay, um, and you know this, right? So especially when you have a situation in real life that we experience on a daily basis, like having to deal with uh, sanitizing our hands, uh, washing surfaces, hygiene, um, uh, not sneezing on other people, not coughing in public. Uh, so these rules were, you know, people are really paying attention to uh, these days, correct? Uh, yes. Okay, so um, so use that information. Okay, use that information and connect your answers. And this is what I was really trying to emphasize at the start of class is that you have to think about the IELTS speaking section as a conversation. So you constantly have to think, okay, can I connect this to something I already said before to make this a little bit clearer, a little bit more natural sounding, right? Okay, let's try this again, me, without me giving you the answer. So connect it to your last one. So do you think the way people pay attention to rules has changed in the past 20 years? Um, yes, uh, because uh, due to COVID-19, when people have to go out, they have to follow certain rules like uh, wearing a mask or have at least two doses of vaccinations. And that's why if they want to go out to work or 
go to school, they have to know the rules, to follow the rules in order to go out. Okay, now me, don't forget the question, okay? So changed compared to the past 20 years, right? So uh, you're okay. on the right track, but you always want to show the understanding of the question in your answer. So yes, people are paying attention very differently these days. Um, it has changed a lot since the last two decades because of the recent pandemic especially. So people have been paying much more attention to rules uh, for their health, like wearing masks and washing their hands. And I think this is because they're really worried about getting a uh, sickness that could be dangerous uh, for them. So like I know I have been really paying attention to washing my hands when I come home right so just like that does that make sense uh yeah okay try it one more time do you think the way people pay attention to rules has changed in the past 20 years uh well the way people pay attention to rules has changed really differently from the past because uh covid 19 appeared in 2019 and people need to um to follow need to know and follow the rules in order to go out like they have to wash their hands and uh, wear masks and had uh, vaccinations. Um, in the past, they there wasn't any COVID at all, so they didn't have to pay much attention to the rules. Bring it back to yourself. I have been paying have, special attention yeah. to rules around health. I have been paying a special attention to about health by reading a lot of news about the health about health uh, online. Okay, good, yeah, remember part one, and I said this to a couple people earlier in today's class, it's about you, so you have to bring it back to yourself, okay? Okay. All right, so content, yeah, content is tricky. Um, so if, what you want to do, me, is always uh, pay attention, and this is for everybody, so when I'm talking to me, I'm not just talking to me, but I'm obviously talking to all of the students out there. Um, so for the speaking section, to get your maximum score when you're practicing at home, you want to pay attention to English like grammar and your words um, and you also want to pay attention to the content and these two are connected okay so uh, what you're saying and how you're saying it okay okay all right okay me keep it up that was really good thank you for helping me out with uh, those uh, very important points okay thank you sir all right have a great rest of your day me Bye. Bye. All right. That was me working very, very hard. Please don't call me, students. I will call you. We'll take uh, another uh, student here. Let's take Asha. Okay. Asha says, I would like to volunteer. I didn't get any call. Um, all right, Asha, are you ready? Um, just give me one second. I just have to close the door. All right, there we go, I'm back. Don't worry, I haven't left yet. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, I still haven't gotten a response from Asha. And I think Asha has just disappeared as well. Okay, so um, let's see. Amrit says, now I'm ready. Okay, Amrit, and you said you wanted to be last, right? So are you ready? Let me ask you a couple questions and Amrit, really work hard to incorporate all of the key strategies that I mentioned today. Part one is about you. Make sure to include explanations and examples and connect your concepts. Okay, so connect the answers. Here we go. Let's help out Amrit. He's got a class coming up soon. Hi Amrit. Hi sir, how are you? Good. You have an IELTS exam coming up soon? Yes, sir. And even today, I done my speaking. Oh, you did your speaking today, and you're still practicing. Yes, uh, and you're still practicing for even more. Yes, I want to improve my communication skill. <laughs> awesome. Good for you. Yeah, speaking is a life skill, right? It's not just for an exam. Um, Amrit, well, since you did your um, exam just today, uh, do you want to tell us how it went? How did it go? Uh, it uh, go very smoothly, like. Uh, the experience of uh, online speaking is very good. I have no face any problem related to internet connectivity or any other. Okay. Uh, did you the do... The examiner understand everything what I say and uh, very examiner is very friendly. 
Okay, and did you do the uh, speaking from your home computer or did you have to go to the exam center and do it there? I go to the exam center for speaking at okay. uh, nearly 12 p.m. Okay, yeah, so you did it at noon? Yes, sir. Okay, and so the online speaking, it wasn't from your home computer, but you actually had to go to the exam center and do it there. And that's the way that it works because they want to make sure that there's a good connection and somebody is there to help if you need it. Um, Amrit, may I ask, what was the question for part one? Sir, part one questions are related to the work or studies. Worker studies, okay. Uh, how about part two? The part two is uh, later to the describe a uh, traditional product in your country. Traditional product in your country. Okay. Um, just out of curiosity, Amrit, what did you answer for a traditional product in India? Yes, uh, sir. I used to go with uh, the Punjabi uh, Punjabi clothes. Like name is a uh, uh, kurta pajama, which is a formal dress. Uh, Yes, I feel more comfortable with that, <laughs> so I just go with <laughs> Okay, so you talked about a formal dress for a traditional product um, in India. Do you know what I would have gone with, Amrit? I wonder if anybody can guess. If, some, if I were in India and somebody asked me to talk about a traditional product in India, this would be my choice. Of course, there are lots of good choices, I think, but this would have been my uh, choice. Any idea what my choice would have been? Um, yeah, uh, so I have a lot of choices, but uh, uh, I, I would a... I would have gone Amrit with spices, yeah. spices as the oh, local yeah. product of India, especially different varieties of curry spice. Um, it's well known around the world, and I think that would be a very good choice for that question of what are uh, some traditional products or what is a traditional product in your country. India is uh, world renowned for spices. Yeah. Okay, sir. All right. Like, uh, uh, if we speak specifically, which food is better? Like, uh, uh, noodles or uh, maybe burger? Um, I don't know if I would have gone into a comparison like that. Now, th my next question, uh, Amrit, before we get into a, a part one question is, what was part three about? So if part two was about a traditional product in your country, then what was part three? Yes, sir. The questions are related to the part two, and but uh, as you know that uh, the last questions are really typical one. Uh, Sometimes, but I answer all of the questions, but the last one questions are really typical. I don't remember uh, now. Okay, that's but fair, fair answer, enough. But I, but I answer. That's important. That's important. Um, all right, Amrit, uh, when you get your marks, um, just come back and share your, your thoughts with us again, okay? Okay, sir. And my another uh, other um, module is on 25th of June. Okay, yeah. I'm sure you'll do fantastic. So let's keep practicing. Let me ask you a couple of questions here. Um, here we go. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, do you think the way people pay attention to rules has changed in the past 20 years? Yes, I think it changed a lot for the past. The rules of the, has changed a lot for the past two decades. Uh, in the past, people have uh, no, uh, not any kind of technology and they just uh, uh, read the newspaper. But nowadays, the technology has changed a lot. Everyone can pay more attention. Uh, every every can pay more attention. Uh, just read newspaper on internet, and even especially uh, during the COVID nineteen, uh, uh, many people are much aware about their uh, letter to health because uh, the COVID nineteen disease are very uh, very dangerous. So they are follow the rules uh, to wear mask or uh, stay uh, distance two meter uh, distance. If you could make a new rule, what would it be? Um, the, one, the one rule that comes to my mind is uh, nowadays many children in India are using a mobile phone a lot, maybe nine to ten hours in a day. I think, I think this is a lot, uh, a lot uh, time, and it also affected the children's eyesight. Uh, uh, eyesight. So government should. Uh, 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 some restrictions to using mobile phones only one or two hours. So I definitely implement these rules. 
Okay, that is the end of speaking part one. Um, and that uh, now we can go to speaking part two. For this part, I will show you a card with some questions. Um, okay, that was good. That was good. All right, I really liked how you used the questions. That was very smart. And it was very smart of you to come back to the first person voice at the end um, to correct yourself and to give clarity. Uh, so I asked you, do you think the way people pay attention to rules has changed? And you said, yes. I think it has. You actually corrected yourself because you didn't use present perfect and then you changed and used present perfect. And you said, yes, I think it has changed a lot uh, for the past two decades. Very nice paraphrasing with the past two decades, okay? In the past, people have no any kind. Um, avoid that double negative, no any kind. Uh, have no technology or have less technology or have different technology. Um, and had, people had different technology so they just read uh, the uh, newspaper uh, so now people can pay more attention by reading the news on the internet and then you kind of got stuck so you quickly switched to an example you said especially related to COVID-19 people got the news right away about masks um, don't over speak okay careful not to over speak limit yourself and then I asked you this next question, if you could make a new rule, what would it be? And you said the one rule that comes to my mind, use the full question. So given the chance okay. uh, to create a new law, the one rule that comes to my mind is many children are using the mobile phone a lot. You use some good quantification. You said like 10 to 12 hours a day. Uh, and then you said the government should restrict, but it's not the government, it's you, right? Because you're making the new rule. And at the end you said, so I would definitely implement this rule. So that was a good switch there at the end, okay? Uh, try to repeat this after me, Amrit. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I okay. always ready. <laughs> All right. Uh, given the chance to create a new law, the one rule that comes to my mind is many children in India use the mobile phone a lot, like 10 to 12 hours a day. This is bad for their eyes. I would restrict this rule and I would implement a new rule to limit them to use it for only two hours a day. If you could make a new rule, what would it be and why? Um, given the chance I create a new law, um, the one rule that comes to my mind is the many children in India are using the mobile phones a lot. They spend nearly uh, nine to 10 uh, hours in a day. And I think this is the uh, this is a, the this a rule the government should uh, restrict uh, uh, implemented and uh, and it helps a lot for uh, children's studies okay almost <laughs> yeah that's good you're paying attention to the content so I would here I'll finish it off so I would definitely uh, let's not forget the rule implement a rule to restrict I, uh, phone I, time I, to two hours a day i thought really confused that because i see the government uh, uh word in the content <laughs> yeah exactly so the trick here amrit is don't just read but really pay attention to the content and repeat the content and that's for everybody. Um, all right, Amrit, that was really, really great. Thank you so much uh, for helping me out with that. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you for sharing your um, speaking, uh, IELTS speaking exam experience. I really appreciate yes, that. Sir. And I hope other people uh, did too. I think, I think sir, uh, I think the online speaking is uh, very good okay. as compared to the face, uh, face to face conversation. Uh, I like, uh, that is really um, good. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, I think that, you know, that gives confidence for people out there who are going to be sitting on uh, the computer version of the speaking test. And as I said at the start of class, IELTS is going towards more of that uh, computer based interview in the future as well. So, um, so good. Thank you for letting everybody know about that. Amrit, have an awesome rest of your day. Big thumbs up from Carolina as well, I can see. Um, have an awesome day, Amrit. We'll talk again later in the week, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you so much for giving me a nice chance. You're, and have a nice, nice day. You're very welcome. Bye-bye.
All right, that was uh, Amrit, and uh, hey, that was that was great, right? Everybody got a little bit of insight into um, what to uh, think of when you're thinking of uh, the speaking um, these days. So Amrit had to speak about work and study in part one and about a, a traditional product in part two, and then part three was follow-up questions about that. So uh, very great, very nice, awesome. Um, okay, everybody, so we're using our website for this. This is aehelp.com, and you can speak to other students as well, and you can book a full IELTS speaking interview practice with me by clicking that yellow speaking interview practice button. Um, and uh, of course, uh, I highly recommend using our website with computer-based practice exams full online course. Our website um, is aehelp.com. It looks like this. Okay, this is aehelp.com. Um, and uh, you can join our premium IELTS package by clicking this red button. We are world leaders when it comes to helping students improve their scores and uh, get the best band scores possible on the IELTS exam. So click that red button, do yourself a favor. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access. Really doesn't cost a lot. That's it for today. Uh, tomorrow I will be back uh, with, um, uh, I believe it's reading and task two writing. So reading for uh, members tomorrow and then uh, writing task two uh, for subscribers. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so that you get notifications of these live classes and our releases. You're very welcome, Simran. Oko, thank you for that super chat donation today as well. Students, I am Adrian. Um, I'm representing aehelp.com for academic IELTS, gieltshelp.com for general IELTS. Have an awesome rest of your day wherever you are in the world right now. Much love to you. Keep up the good studies, keep pushing forward, and you will succeed. Bye for now, everyone.